Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on Google Summer of Code at IntelliPart. Today we will delve into the Google Summer of Code 2024 tutorial where we will discuss about how participating in GSOC 2024 can be your gateway to bag an amazing stipend and unparalleled learning and collaboration opportunity. Before we move on and discuss more about Google Summer of Code, I request you guys that do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So here's the agenda for our today's session. Firstly, we will discuss about what is open source. Then we will learn about how to contribute in open source. Then we will discuss what is GSOC, its impact and benefits of participating. Then we will discuss about how to choose the right organization and project. Moving ahead, we will discuss about platform, people and communities. And at the end, we are going to conclude our session with what should be the strategy to crack GSOC 2024. So guys, let's start an introduction to what is open source. So open source refers to a type of software or creative works that are released with a license that grants anyone permission to use, modify and distribute the work freely. This means that the source code or the original design of the software project or the work is made available to the public, thus allowing anyone to view, edit and improve upon it. There are certain key characteristics for open source. The first includes free redistribution, which means that open source software can be redistributed and shared without restrictions. Users can copy and distribute the software to others without having to pay for it. Then comes access to the source code. The source code which makes the human readable code that makes up the software is typically included and accessible to anyone who wants to see it. This transparency allows for scrutiny, learning and modification. Next comes the modifiability. Users are allowed to modify the source code to suit their needs, add new features, fix bugs or adapt it for different purposes. This encourages collaboration and innovation. Next comes the derived works. One source license often permit the creation of derivative works which are new projects or versions built upon the original open source work. Next comes there is no discrimination guys. Open source licenses generally do not discriminate against any person or group of people. They do not restrict usage based on factors such as race, religion or field of endeavor. And the next is community collaboration. Open source projects often have community of developers and users who collaborate to improve the software. This can lead to rapid development and high quality software. Popular open source licenses include GNU which means General Public License, MIT License, Apache License and Creative Common Licenses for non-software works like art, literature and music. Open source software is used in various domains including operating systems such as Linux, web servers such as Apache HTTP server, content management systems like WordPress and development tools like Git. Open source has also a significant impact on the fields of science, education and even hardware design, thus promoting collaboration, transparency and innovation. Certain open source projects include Eclipse, Swift, TensorFlow, Firefox, MariaDB, Django, OpenCV, React and Vue.js. Now the next question is very important which most of you would be thinking how you can contribute to the open source. Contributing to open source project is a wonderful way to give back to the global software community while improving your own skills and collaborating with like-minded individuals. Here's a detailed guide which I'm going to show you how you can contribute to the open source. Start first by identifying a project that aligns with your interests and expertise. It could be a programming language you are comfortable with such as you can choose Java, JavaScript or Python. Then choose a domain you are passionate about or a software tool you frequently use like it could be Eclipse, VS Code, IntelliJ etc. Projects come in all shapes and sizes from web development frameworks to data analysis libraries. Once you have identified a project, delve into it. Explore the project's documentation, code base and community. This often involves visiting a project's official website, carefully reading the readme file to understand its purpose and browsing through the issue tracker and the mailing list to get a sense of ongoing discussions and areas where help is needed. Prepare your development environment by installing the necessary tools and dependencies. Projects typically provide clear set of instructions in their documentation to help newcomer get started quickly. 
Make sure your environment is configured correctly before moving on. Look for good first issue or beginner friendly labels within the project's issue tracker. These tasks are usually well defined, smaller in scope and manageable for newcomers. Select one that interests you and aligns with your skills. Now it's time to create your own working space. On platforms like GitHub, you can fork a project's repository which essentially creates a copy of the project under your account. This fog repository allows you to work on your contributions without affecting the original project. Within your fog repository, create a new branch for your contribution. Naming conventions often include issue number or brief description of your proposed changes. Start by implementing your changes based on the task you have chosen. This might involve writing code, updating documentation or fixing bugs. Make sure to adhere the project's coding style and guidelines and keep your code clean clear and well documented. Thoroughly test your changes to ensure they work as intended. Consider writing unit tests or following the project testing procedures. This helps maintain the project's overall quality and reliability. Commit your changes to the branch you have created and push them to your fork repository. Use informative commit messages that describe the purpose of each change, making it easier for others to understand your work. Once your changes are ready, Submit a pull request to propose merging them into the original project. Within the PR, provide a comprehensive description of your modification, explaining why they are necessary and how they address the issue you have worked on. If applicable, reference the issue number in your PR. Be open to feedback and constructive criticism, which engages the project's community by responding promptly to comments on your PR and making necessary adjustments. Collaboration and effective communication are essential in open source. If your pull request is accepted and merged, congratulations. Continue your involvement by fixing more issues, assisting other contributors and providing ongoing support for the project. As you gain experience, consider exploring and contributing to other open source projects that interest you. The open source world offers a wide range of opportunities for personal growth and meaningful contribution to the software community. Now guys, let's move on and discuss about Google Summer of Code 2024. Google Summer of Code is a prestigious annual program conducted by Google that aims to foster the growth of open source software by bringing together talented student developers and open source organizations. This program offers students a unique opportunity to engage in meaningful and impactful software development projects over the summer. GSOC is a globally recognized initiative that encourages student developers to contribute their skills and creativity to open source projects. The program provides a structured platform for students to work on a wide variety of software projects ranging from web and mobile application to machine learning and data analysis. Now let us discuss some of the key aspects of GSOC. So guys, the first one is student participation. Talented students from universities worldwide participate in GSOC. They apply to work on projects proposed by established open source organization. Second one is open source collaboration. GSOC fosters collaboration between students and open source communities. Student becomes integral member of these communities, contributing code, fixing bugs and enhancing project features. Next one is mentorship. Each student is paired with an experienced mentor from the participating organization. Mentors guide student throughout the program, ensuring their success and facilitating knowledge transfer. Next come is the coding period. The core of GSOC is 10 to 12 week coding period during summer. Students dedicate their time to implement project features, resolving issues, enhancing the open source code base. Next comes the stipends. Students who successfully complete their GSOC projects are rewarded with stipends, recognizing their valuable contribution. Next comes is the global impact. GSOC has a global reach with participants from diverse background and culture. It promotes innovation and collaboration on a global scale. Next comes after you have achieved all this thing is a skill development. GSOC offers students an exceptional opportunity to enhance their programming skill, work with cutting edge technologies and gain real world experience that can kickstart their careers. In summary, if I have to say guys, Google Summer of Code serves as a catalyst for open source software development connecting passionate student developers with open source organization and communities to create, innovate and make positive impact on the world of technology. Let us discuss our next agenda that is how to choose right organization and project. 
I know guys, lot of you would have the same question. So let us find the answer for the same. Choosing right organization and project for your participation in initiatives like Google Summer of Code or open source contribution is crucial decision that can greatly influence your experience and success. So guys, the first step is start by identifying your areas of interest and passion in software development. Consider programming languages, domain, web development, machine learning or mobile apps and technologies that genuinely excite you. So guys, first of all, you have to choose something that aligns with your interest. Next is research organization. Explore the list of participating organization in GSOC or the open source landscape. Read about their missions, objectives and the projects they offer. Consider the size of organization. Small organization may offer more personalized mentoring while larger one could provide a wider range of projects. Third one is reviewing your project ideas. Study the project ideas proposed by each organization. These ideas should align with your interest and expertise. Evaluate the complexity of projects. As student, it's essential to choose a project that challenges you, but it is also achievable within the GSOC timeframe. Next one is engage with the community. Join the communication channels of the organization that you are interested in. For example, mailing list, forums, or the chat rooms. Engage with the community, ask questions, and get feel for the culture and responsiveness. Next step is assessing the mentorship. Evaluate the availability and experience of the mentors. Strong mentorship is essential for your success in GSOC or open source contribution. Reach out to potential mentors and discuss the project ideas you are considering. Their feedback can provide valuable insights. And the final step is seeking the feedback. Consult with peers, mentors or experienced contributors for their insights. They can offer guidance based on their own experiences. Now let's move on and discuss the impacts and benefits of participating in GSOC. So guys, the first one is students growth. Participants gain real world software development experience, refining their coding skills and becoming a part of the open source community. The program often serves as a launching pad for a future career in the tech. Second one is open source advancement. Open source projects receive invaluable contribution and fresh perspectives from enthusiastic students. These contributions enhance the functionality, quality and sustainability of the open source software. Third one is the mentorship. GSOC promotes mentorship within the tech community. Experienced developers nurture the next generation of talent, fostering a culture of knowledge sharing and collaboration. The next one is community building. The program strengthens the bonds within the open source community and encourages global collaboration. Students and mentors from diverse backgrounds come together to work on the shared goals. Next one is the innovation. GSOC encourages experimentation and innovation. Students bring new ideas and energy to the projects, often leading to groundbreaking features and improvement. And finally, you get a Google's commitment. Google support for GSOC demonstrates its commitment to the principles of open source software and education. The company provides resources, funding and a platform for fostering a talent. In summary, Google Summer of Code is a pivotal program that nurtures the growth of both open source software and the developers who contribute to it. Through mentorship, collaboration and a passion for coding, GSOC continues to make a positive impact on the world of technology, fostering innovation and enriching the global open source community. Now guys, let us discuss about platform, projects and discussion. In the context of open source software development, a platform refers to an online infrastructure or environment where software projects are hosted, managed and collaborated on by developers, contributors and users. These platforms serve as a foundation for open source collaboration and provide essential tools and services. Some of the popular open source platform include GitHub, Slack, GitLab, Matrix, GitHub. So these are all the things. If I talk about GitHub guys, it is one of the most widely used platforms where GitHub hosts millions of open source repositories. It provides version control through Git, issue tracking and project management tools and collaboration features like pull requests and discussion. So guys, this was the thing where you can start with a platform if you want to contribute to the open source. So guys, after you have chosen your platform, then you start contributing to the open source. And, and finally, I assume that you would be participating in GSOC 2024. So these things you will be learning. 
throughout your journey. The first one, you have to decide what are your project goals. Then you have to discuss about the licensing. Moving on, you will discuss about contribution, version control and collaboration. Then you will also get to see the diversity, communication, recognition and governance. And finally, you will learn about what is a code of conduct. It's a very healthy competition and I request you guys that you should participate definitely if you want to make a successful career in the software development. Now let's move on and discuss about what should be the strategy for GSOC 2024. So guys, winning Google Summer of Code 2024 is a great goal, but it's important to approach it with the right strategy and mindset. GSOC is a highly competitive program and success depends on combination of technical skills, dedication and effective project management. Here's a strategy to increase your chances of winning. The first one is start early. Begin preparing well before the application period starts. Familiarize yourself with the GSOC timeline and requirements. Select projects that align with your skills and interest. Research and explore different organizations and projects before the application period. Next one is contribution and engagement. Get involved in the open source project you are interested in before applying for GSOC. Make contributions, participate in discussions and engage with the community. Build a strong track record of quality contributions to the project. This can include code contribution, documentation, updates, bug fixes or other valuable contributions. Next comes is the communication skills. Effective communication is crucial. Engage with project mentors and the community in a friendly and professional manner. Ask intelligent questions, provide thoughtful feedback and be responsive to the mentor guidance. Next comes is the project proposal. Craft a well-researched and compelling project proposal. Clearly outline the problem you aim to solve, your proposed solution and detailed plan for achieving your goals during the GSOC timelines. Ensure your proposals align with the project's goal and roadmap. Show that you have done your homework and understand the project deeply. Next comes is the mentor interaction. Establish a good rapport with project mentors on the organization you are interested in. Communicate with your intentions and seek the early advice. Discuss your project ideas with mentors before submitting your proposal. They can provide valuable feedback and increase your chances of being selected. Next comes is a code samples and portfolio. Provide a code sample or portfolio of your previous work. This demonstrates your coding skills and shows you can deliver high quality code. Next comes is a project management. Create a detailed project plan with milestones and deliverables for the GSOC period. This shows that you are organized and committed to completing your project on timeline. Understand that GSOC is a full-time commitment during the coding period and ensure you have time and resources needed. Remember friends that GSOC is just not about winning, but it's also about learning and contributing to the open source. Even if you don't get selected, the experience of preparing and applying can be valuable for your personal and professional growth. Keep moving your skills and try again in the future if you're not selected in the first attempt. Good luck guys. Thank you guys for watching this video on Google Summer of Code 2024. I hope so you would have enjoyed this video. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath offers executive postgraduate certification in software development in collaboration with iHub Divya Samparka IIT Roorkee. Through this course, you'll learn a multitude of tools used in the industry such as Git, React, Express, Node.js, MongoDB and more from the esteemed IIT Roorkee faculties and industry experts. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out the testimonials on our Achievers channel whose link is given in the description below. Without a doubt, this course can set your career to new heights so visit the course page link given below in the description and take a first step towards career growth in the field of software development.